Hello friends, a very very happy new year to you all. May all your dreams and dares come true. Friends, let's chat about football today a bit, how it is being transformed. But before we do so, let's play an imaginary game of chess. In this imaginary game, friends, the pawns, instead of being allowed to move only within the limited space that they are currently allowed, are also allowed to move like a knight or a bishop or a rook, adapting to the trend of the game. Can you imagine, friends, if the pawns are liberated like this, how the game of chess will look, how it will be transformed, a complete fantasy world of game of chess. Fernando Diniz, the coach of the Brazilian football club, Fluminense, and the current interim coach of the Brazilian national football team, is trying to exactly do that in football. What is it that he's trying to do that people are discussing with such great fervor today? The philosophy that he has brought in, the coaching manuals, is called relationism, which is completely antithetical to the current methods of coaching applied by several coaches all over the world. What are the key elements of this philosophy of his coaching, which is called relationism? First friends, he is completely antithetical to the current positional method of coaching that the coaches apply. As we all know, and that is the reason, friends, that football has become so structured, so predictable. According to this positional method of play, we all know the players are allowed the respective roles and respective spaces, which are predefined by the coach. Right back, left back, center half, right wing, left wing, false nine, center forward and so on and so forth and the players play the game broadly within this space and the roles not for Fernando Reyes what he has done that he has relinquished our coaches control over this predefined space and predefined roles for players in his scheme of things the players are free to play the way they want first. But how does he manage to do that? What are the tools? What are the methods that he has applied to implement this? What he has brought in? A new concept where the ball is the centerpiece of the ground. That means the ball is the bite piper of the game and he has asked his players to converge to the proximity of the ball wherever it is in the ground. So what happens is that the players all the time, the players, four to six players are always in close proximity to where the ball is on the ground. None of these players have any predefined position or roles to play. This is called tilting, that the players, his players will tilt wherever the ball is on the ground. What you also call friends, very interestingly, silly circle or silly wheel. Four or six players converging on the ball. Now, how do they move forward in this scenario? Here we come to the second method that he has brought in, which is called the staircase arrangement. The staircase arrangement or the ladder. In this ladder system, these four six players place themselves in diagonal lanes, in diagonal lanes, 
each player at a different height from the other. And they go on pass, go, pass, go within this diagonal lanes, within this ladder. Can I imagine the visual effects of watching a game of football like this? All the players are tilting towards where the ball is. And the ball is being passed and received, passed and received as if in a ladder. And how much confused the opposition will be in a system like this where they don't know which player is assigned which role or what role. Completely free to do, to act and react according to the situation of the game. Now, within this, how do they manage four or, two, uh, four or six players, seven players? What they do is that they overload one area of the ground. As a result of which the opposition players also have to, to confront that and it's not easy and then yo yo now these players who are tilting now at times they move towards a false tilting they will move towards one which is called yo yo and, and then suddenly when the entire opposition is also converging on that silly circle or silly way they will suddenly move to another they will tilt to a different direction taking the opposition by surprise fantastic isn't it friend so friend here this philosophy of relationism then backed by this methods of tilting ladder and yo-yo gives a lot of opportunities for the players to showcase their skills the nutmegs the back wheels, the fins, the moves, uncanny moves. So in all, if you take a picture on a canvas, football becomes a game of heart and soul, spirit and soul. The players have full freedom to react to a particular situation. And this tilting, this ladder, this yo-yo, is your individual skills makes football a visual delight to watch. But what about the results? The Brazilian team so far in the World Cup qualifying matches, they have lost three matches, we know, and won two so far. So they're probably, the results are not showing as yet. And the reasons for that, because most of the players in the national team also play in the major league clubs which have completely different approaches. So probably they're taking some time to adapt to this uh, poetic system of poetic method of playing football. Be that as it may, friends, whether it succeeds or not, isn't it a breath of fresh air into the sports? That bringing in heart and soul, spirit and soul, artistry, like a picture postcard, the game of football becomes. And there are a lot of takeaways from this. This relationship cannot succeed if the players do not trust, respect and cooperate with each other. Understand, understanding of each other closely is the essence of this system that you have to build a relation with your team. You not only it is more than a coordination, it is a relation. I know, I trust, and there is a lot of uh, bon hobby, there is a lot of uh, get togetherness between the players. This we can also follow in life and work. Your life and work has also become very structured, very predictable, very mundane routine. Through this philosophy of relationism and methods like, beautiful methods like tilting, yo-yo, ladder, they can bring in a new energy, a new breath of fresh air into our lives. Thank you, Fernando Dennis, for bringing this breath of fresh air into the game of football and by so into our lives. We have to see whether it succeeds or not. 
but the very fact that it is there with us to experience as of now is a matter of immense joy. Thank you, friends. Hope you have enjoyed this discussion. See you soon. Take care. And thank you very much for supporting us in our journey. See you again, friends. Bye-bye.